Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Living in Jacksonville in St. Augustine, Florida. Today we're unraveling a topic that often leaves seasoned homeowners scratching their heads, especially those relocating from other states where they're less common. What exactly are CDD fees? Are they good? Are they bad? How do they differ from HOA fees? Stick around because today we're clearing the air. So what's a CDD fee? Imagine a beautiful community with stunning pools, lush parks, and top-notch amenities. Well, those perks often come with a price tag called a Community Development District Fee. It's an annual assessment utilized by the CDD to issue bonds for financing infrastructure and amenities, as well as their ongoing maintenance. Think of it as a collective investment in your neighborhood's quality of life. So CDD versus HOA. So how does a CDD fee differ from an HOA fee? The CDD mainly deals with infrastructure and amenities, while the HOAs typically tackle community regulations and common spaces. Although a portion of CDD fees may be temporary, they often span a considerable term ranging from 20 to 30 years until the development bonds are fully repaid. It's crucial to note that even after the bond portion is settled, an ongoing operational segment of the CDD fee remains. So typically, you can anticipate a reduction of around half in your fee once the bond portion is paid off, whereas HOA fees are ongoing. So the CDD fee is typically included in your property tax bill. This means that you'll receive one single bill from your county that includes both the traditional property taxes and the CDD fee. You can then pay your property tax bill, which includes the CDD fee, to the tax collector, just like you would pay your other property tax. So what are the pros and cons of CDD fees? Pros. Enhanced lifestyle grants access to exceptional amenities and individual community builders who would struggle to finance independently. Increased property value. Well-maintained communities and top-notch amenities often attract higher values. Controlled development. CDDs ensure responsible planning and infrastructure upkeep. Cons. It can be a financial burden. The fees can add up, impacting your monthly budget. Limited control. Residents have less say in amenity choices compared to HOAs. Bond debt duration. You're essentially paying off someone else's development loan for sometimes 20 to 30 years. So how many CDD communities are there in Northeast Florida? Currently, there are around 25 to 30 communities with CDD. And the list keeps growing as master plan communities are becoming more and more popular. So remember, CDD fees can be a major decision to consider. So consider your budget, your desired lifestyle, and your long-term commitment before buying into a CDD community. Do your research, ask us some questions, and make an informed choice. Thanks for joining us. If you have any more CDD questions or real estate questions in general, fire away in the comments below, or you can reach us directly at the number and email below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more real estate insights and community tours. We'll see you in the next one.